What is up and is going on guys, CMC here, and today for you, I have another episode of Let's Play Westeros Total War, A New Beginning, and today we're playing as House Martell. Now I've skipped a quite f a few turns ahead, basically just to set up the campaign, because it would have been just quite tedious just to record 14 turns and nothing really happened. So basically, I've bent the knee to Renly Baratheon, and I've married uh, Arianne to Willis Tyrell. I both have military access and trade rights with Renly, and House Tyrell, and basically, uh, we've pretty much won the war, <laughs> with me signing with them, because it's basically, uh, I guess it's a 2v2 on most fronts, because Renly has Tyrell, um, Joffrey has Lannister, Tully has Stark, and obviously Aaron is kind of a wild card along with me, but now it's a 3v, pretty much the world. So, in doing so, I, I was allowed to leave Dawn practically undefended. I left Doran Martell in uh, Sunspear, but I've sailed around through these turns, and I've sailed to Casterly Rock with Oberyn Martell, uh, Gerald Dane, Damon Sand, I've got Anders Ironwood and Quentin Martell here as well, and we're going to attack Casterly Rock and Lannisport in, uh, in, a couple, in a... Can we do it this turn? Yep, we're going to do it this turn. So we're going to besiege Casterly Rock, get our revenge for... Um, Elia Martel. Uh, we're going to besiege Lannisport as well. So once we've done that, we've pretty much crushed the Lannisters' economy. Their their troops in the Riverlands will have to flee back to c take Casterly Rock and Lannisport back. And so, and seeing like we've taken all this gold, the only other, um, the only other. Uh, form of income they have is really the golden tooth. So mission failed. So we're going to take Lannisport. We're going to just auto resolve that because it's a one to one. Um, I can't. It's, we're about to kill Willem Lannister. So that's done. We'll sack. Oh, should we sack Lannisport? Yeah, fuck it. You get a ridiculous amount of money. Repair. Get a diplomat and retrain pretty much everyone else. I think I'm going to take Castle Rock this turn because I can't afford any Lannister reinforcements coming back. So I'm going to do a quick save. And you might see second Martell and YouTube Martell. So I'm going to go into that uh, once we get the deployment ready. So it's a 3 to 1, Wald of Frey. Um, Lannister relations. So what do they got? They got some guards of the rock. Yeah, they got some alright troops. We should be able to take it quite comfortably, even though we've got a lot of horsemen in this. Um, he would have preferred to have more spearmen, but I didn't realise I had that much. So, now, this is the second time I've started recording How Smart Cell. Now, unfortunately, a couple of days ago, I started recording this, and I recorded for an hour and a half and uh, of How Smart Cell, and I pretty much uh, defeated the Lannisters. I, th I think I had defeated the Lannisters, and I was pretty much getting to end the campaign I was going to expand into another territory but unfortunately my recording didn't work <laughs> my recording fucked up and then I had to I have to redo it again so after that I was just pissed like recording for an hour and a half what's that like four or five episodes it was just a real pain in the ass and I just was real angry so I didn't record for well but now I'm happy I'm, gonna, I'm quite happy to record this house Martel again it, it just it's just annoying and I thought it was, um, it happened as well, I recorded an hour and a half of uh, Empire Dawn of the Modern Age, and that, oh, it, that happened in the same day, because I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was a different problem, but then it just happened again, and I forgot about it, so. Bad on my behalf, so I kind of lost, what, 10 episodes or something, which is just ridiculous. So we're going to get Rally up here. I might actually show you when I get back onto the campaign map. I might actually show you guys how far I went. And it kind of gives me a little bit of a... Uh, kind of gives me a little bit of a... Just show you what I'm planning and thinking, I guess. March is here. But once we take Castle Rock, we should be good. Um, I actually got suggested by a subscriber to do House Martell. I originally thought the pro the problem was uh, audacity, uh, but it was actually my headset. My, my headset microphone broke, which is kind of shitty. 
But, uh, whatever, I guess. So, with how smart sell, we had a couple of options. Uh, we had a couple of options to... Basically, Martel doesn't really have any main objectives, unlike the other houses. Except for getting revenge on, um... Elia Martel, and uh, I think that's, that's what we essentially went to plan through. So, we had a couple of options. We could have allied with Renly and the Tyrells, which I think is probably the more, more I don't know, likely. But the, the Martel's a Targaryen supporter, so obviously uh, Danny hasn't crossed the narrow sea yet. We probably would have bent the knee to her. But we had a couple of options. We could have bent the knee to Stannis Baratheon, sailed all our troops over to Dragonstone, rallied up with him, and then furthermore actually gone with him to besiege King's Landing. Get our Dornish Spearmen up there to help. Um, what else would we could have done? We could have gone to Rob Stark. We could have bent the knee to the north. Which, I uh, will be very likely. Go over there. Get revenge for Eddard Stark. But in the same turn, we attack the Lannisters. Or we could have even gone a crazier route. We could have bent the knee to House Greyjoy. And claimed them... I don't know, King, <laughs> sail all those ships over to the Iron Islands, then help them pillage and rape the North. So, we had a couple of options. But yeah, I'm going to show you how far I went with House Smart Cell. But, um, yeah. Um, after this House House, La, uh, house Smart Cell campaign, I would like to know in the comment section down below which house you like me to play as. I've obviously gone through, I've pretty much done every house. Uh, the only other house, because this is the only house I haven't done yet, um, I haven't done House Tully in a single player. I did do that in the SNS hot seat, so that could be quite possibly a option to do House Tully. Or I'm not. I think I might go back to Kings of Rivers and Hills. Play House Mud. Uh, that would be quite. That, that's essentially playing House Tully, isn't it? But in Kings of Rivers and Hills. I don't know. I feel like going back to Kings of Rivers and Hills. Maybe playing. I still. I still got a lot of factions to do in that as well. So maybe like House Gardener. House Mud, maybe. That's what I was thinking. Or House Tully. So we've still got a fair few campaigns left to do. So Quite content. Well, we'll kill Walter Frey. So basically, we've taken Tywin's home from him. And uh, I'm pretty sure Renly, uh, if he's successful at King's Landing... Well, he's got the back of the... The Tyrells are going to come up through the south and attack the Lannisters as well. So... Yeah. We're pretty much... I'm not going to... Like sugar go, we've pretty much won the war because, like I said, it's kind of a. Why didn't you go this way and all the way up there to now you're just pushing through the enemy lines? Stupid AI. There's Oprah Martell. You murdered her. You killed her. You raped her children. I think that's how it goes, isn't it? I can't remember. You raped her children. Hang on, <laughs> I don't think it goes like that. <coughs> Winning on the walls, yeah. So, I am using my inbuilt microphone on my PC, so I do apologise if the quality is not up to par, but I have ordered a new headset and it should be here in the next couple of days, and I, I don't know, it, it's, <coughs> it's not like you, it's not like you under, it's not like you can't understand what I'm saying, it's just a little bit of a buzzing noise. Now, where did the battling ram go? It got just pushed back because I was just grinding it out with the, uh, the Lannisters. So, once we've taken their homelands, we're going to keep pushing into the Westerlands. And I'm sure, yeah, obviously, in the family tree, um, Quentin, Doran, and then Quentin will get uh, Casterly. The, oh, no, yeah, they'll get Sunspear. Um, obviously, Ari... Uh, I can't... The Martel Slut. Uh, I can't remember her name. Ariane, or whatever. Um... Adrian, I can't remember her name. Uh, the person I married to, Willem, uh, Willis, Willis Tyrell. So he gets Tyrell. Uh, I think I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm what I'm trying to make here is I'm trying to think who I should give Casterly Rock to. I think I'm gonna give Casterly Rock to Oberyn Martell. Now I didn't show in the family tr tree, but I did marry Oberyn's first daughter to just a Uella, a uh, random generated one. So his line's going to be secure through that, but it doesn't really. But obviously, in this game, it's based on uh, pretty much all of Westeros that the males inherit everything. But in Dawn and Dornish culture, the females can inherit lands and titles and such. So I might give Oberyn Casterly Rock. 
Um, but then there's Tristine Martel. Seeing as he, he isn't uh, first in line for, uh, isn't first in line like Quentin, I'm probably going to give him Lannisport when he comes of age. I think I'm going to make Castellia rock my capital so all my stuff spawns there from now on. But we still got the Dark Star. We got Sand here as well. So we got a lot of reinforcements. We got Iron Ward as well. Okay, we're still pushing up. The Armored Swordsman is still holding. But yeah, make sure to leave a like to support this series, guys. And I really want to know what campaign you want me to play next. Yeah, I probably could play House Tully. Um, but the thing is, it's kind of very much the same as House Star. Oh, what will we do? Probably throw back the air. Probably just take the Lannisters out. They probably get attacked by the Tyrells. Starks wouldn't help us that much. We pretty much lost a unit here of Armored Swordsmen. They fought well against the, the other dudes. Obviously, the armored spearmen are not as good as the armored swordsmen. They're going to give them a hell of a fight, nonetheless. Get the battering ram. We need to break down that second wall. We got everyone, but not yeah. We actually, got everyone but group that. Armored spearmen. I could even do a Fire and Blood uh, series, do the Night's Watch. I guess that's kind of, I don't know, they haven't really done that much to that mod. It's still very unpolished. Um, like, obviously I don't know how to do textures and stuff and add like portraits, but all that has just the basic structure of the wall. It has some settlements north of the wall and just essentially just a random uh, generated Medieval 2 portraits. Now, their spearmen are trying to hold here. And the round's about to get fucked again. They're routed. They routed quite quickly. Get the fucking ram. The thing is that they're not letting any more troops in. So it's a pain in the ass for me. They're just getting absolutely hammered there. <laughs> Imagine just copping a ram in the back of your spine, just <laughs> fucking cane. Anyway, we're pushing to take Casterly Rock. Tywin and Jamie won't know what hit him. Now we do have troops on the walls here. Do we have any more up on the walls? Ah, uh, yeah, we do. So we'll fight the remaining of them. Thirty-three percent to seventy-one. That's not too bad. Seeing as we're taking their capital, we've already taken Lannisport, so. They haven't got much more left on them. The Lannisters are on the back foot. And I'm sure Rob Stark will be happy. Batter down the gates. Bring it down, bring it down. There we go, we're about to get in now. Get ready to charge, my friend. We've broken down the gates, and the scum will join. Also, I don't have to do another Westeros uh, campaign. I could very much go... Well, I don't really want to do Third Age. I'm kind of over that, even with the Dividing Conquer. Um, I don't really... I don't know. I never say never, but at this point in time, I don't really know. So we got... We could do House Tully, House Mud... Or House Gardener. Uh, that's still three campaigns I can still do, and that would take a while to finish off. Um, 
Oh shit. I thought there was like oh there's only a couple left. Oh, okay. I don't know if we're ready to hold them off for a minute. Oh no, we're still holding off. The spearmen won't. The spearmen will just fucking destroy their heavy cavalry. Very much like rock, paper, scissors. Or, to be honest, I have never ever done a vanilla medieval campaign. Not kingdoms. Actually, probably, yeah, I haven't done medieval. Just medieval or the Teutonic or the kingdoms or the Britannia one. Uh, I know this is a very old game and obviously. It just keeps on getting like uh, a breath of life re into it as you would through due to mods and stuff and how like amazing third ages. But I could see myself doing a France campaign or a uh, a English one. That'd be quite fun. Uh, something a little bit different. But we're gonna sack Casterly Rock. We're gonna build caravan stops. So we did well. Now I'm just going to do a quick save over second Martel. Now I'm going to load um, the YouTube Martel. The one I did fucking hour and a half of recording. And then it buggered up. So basically I'm just going to show you what happened. Um, I guess it's kind of a... Nah, it's not really a special spoiler. So basically I was pretty far into it. I was 55 turns. I took Castle Rock Case. Um, from what I can remember the Lannisters are destroyed now. Yeah, the Lannisters are destroyed. And we're at war with the Greyjoys. We're throwing the Greyjoys back because they think they have a claim to the Westerlands. So, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, there's the family tree as well. So, yeah. Um, nothing about... Forget about that. Actually, I might just have a look Toggle Foe because... Obviously, because this campaign doesn't matter. I want to see if Renly... No, Renly's on the back foot. Yeah, shit. He's lost Stone Dance to Stannis. And Joffrey keeps on pushing down south. He's Tom and still the heir, so Joffrey's still the faction leader. Oh yeah, House, fucking hell, House Tully has been absolutely obliterated by them. And the Arons have taken the twins as well. Shit. Regardless, we're going to low back to Second Martel, and we are going to focus on our campaign. You helped me win the damn throne. Now help me hold it. Robert of the House Baratheon. So, let's repair and retrain our troops. We did well. We've taken Castle Rock, God damn it! Now, we probably should send an army out. Now, who's my best general? It's not Ironwood, is it? It's probably, it's probably Oberyn himself. Um, we'll just rally up. We'll take most of our troops out of Lannisport. That's where most of our troops are going to come from. We'll move over in there. Okay. Looks like Amory Lorch has doubled back with a small garrison to try to retake Casterly Rock. I don't know if they're going to be able to do so. Yeah. There's a lot of Lannister forces just chilling around here. Merchants, Lannisport. Yeah, why not? Send an emirate to the house, Joffrey. I'd rather not. I'm the richest faction, apparently. That's quite it. Oh, fuck. My bad, guys. I just dropped my Xbox controller. <laughs> just fell off the desk. Anyway. um, Right. We're going to get this Ober Martell army just to go around and just auto-resolve these <laughs> fucking small armies that are broken off. Um, we really do need more troops, don't we? We can't really get them. Oh, we might as well get a merchant and diplomat. Maybe get some... Uh, we're going to have to take... Case, maybe? 